This is a video showing the use of the power amplifier with the 750 interface using Pasco Capstone. First, from the upper left hand side, select the hardware setup icon. From this, you should see the 750. If it's properly connected, you'll see the green starburst in the upper left hand corner. So I will now select channel A, and from this pull down list, I will select the power amplifier. To monitor my power amplifier, I'm going to select channel B. Once I've selected that, I'm going to select my voltage sensor. That's going to help me uh, monitor this externally. You can also select the power amplifier itself as a uh, sensor, so I'll, I'll show the use of that as well. To control the power amplifier, you'll do that by selecting the signal generator icon on the left-hand side. Once you've done that, you can select the frequency and the waveform that will be put out by the uh, amp power amplifier. I have auto selected that will allow me to turn on the signal generator when I start data collection. I'll go ahead and close this drawer and I'm going to go to page 2 of my workbook for which I've already generated a graph. On the left hand side I have the opportunity to select either my dedicated voltage probe or I can take a look at either my output voltage or my output current for my power amplifier. So what I will now do is I'll go ahead and select the um, output voltage for my power amplifier. I can check to see what the output voltage will be by clicking again on the signal generator. You can see here that I selected a voltage of 1 volt. The settings for each of the pages are set independently. So on this page I also need to select auto so that data collection will start automatically when I, uh, rather the signal generator will start to work as soon as I uh, select the record button. I will now select the signal generator icon again to close the drawer and now I will select the record button. From sampling theory you're going to want to have at least 10 times the sampling rate than the signal is going to be generated from the signal generator. So I'll go ahead and press the record button and you can see that my waveform has been collected. I can select the auto scale icon on the upper left hand side and you can see I have a fairly clean waveform that's being selected here. I'm fairly close to the sampling limit on this, so I can actually increase my resolution and I can get a much cleaner display output that will um, more closely follow the actual output from the signal generator. 